Now, we spend a lot of time and emphasis on building tens, since, of course, it's base 10 mathematics that we're teaching. This is a 10. Now, what does 9 need to be a 10? And, of course, all the other numbers want to be 10s. 9 needs a 1 to be 10. And, of course, 8 needs a 2. And, again, it's visually obvious to the child. And you notice we're not using any symbols on this board. We're just playing with blocks and using verbal and kinesthetic skills to build tents. And later on, we can put the symbols in. So... 9 needs a 1, 8 needs a 2, 7 needs a 3, 6 needs a 4, and 5 needs a twin if he wants to be 10, or if she wants to be 10. And all we've done here is build with blocks and have a good time. Now here, all we're doing is showing you the blocks. We have lots of games where we build towers and... Uh, we can stand them up and make skyscrapers where they use their motor skills, their finer motor skills, to place the blocks on top of each other and basically understand that we can build numbers out of other numbers, and in this case we're building tens. And we need to have these concepts understood and readily available to the child's mind so that later on when we teach uh, subtraction, and you'll see other things like problem solving and so forth, that they have no problem understanding what they need to do, and they don't have to count on their fingers.